y'all. Look at this hair. Look at this hair. Look at this hair. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. I'm Shanice, thanks for stopping by. And today I wanna to talk about this hair. Yeah. Curly hair, it's called Natural Kings. The person that I bought it from, her company is called Perfectly Made by Jay. Her name is Jody. She is a really, really sweet girl. Whenever I go to order hair from her, anytime I have a question to ask her about the hair, that she's always super informative, really, really nice, very, very professional. So that's really why I keep going back. And her hair is bomb. When I started my YouTube channel, I started wearing this hair, and I've had this hair for about about two years. I think next year will be three years. So I had this hair for two years and some change. So the hair held up really, really good. I bleached it a couple times. I actually still have the hair to this date, but it's in my closet because. I'm on this. So her hair is definitely really, really durable and this is not a sponsored video. I didn't get here for free and nothing like that. I just personally really really like the hair. I bought hair from other vendors before in Barbados, Express, and the hair was not as long as her hair. So girl, if you want to partner in the future, hit me up again. It is called natural kinks but I believe that that is just her preference in naming the hair but it's definitely a kinky curly type textured hair typically when I do my moisturizing regimen I do it like once every time after I wash the wig because I don't know, I like super big hair and with the humidity in Barbados, like the hair is not gonna stay like super moisture. That's a bad that's a bad um choice of words. The hair is not gonna stay like super defined and super like weighed down. This is how the hair is supposed to be. It's kinky hair is like really poofy and really big. Like that's what it's supposed to be. So if you're not a fan of like really big and extra type of stuff, like this hair is not for you. So typically when I do my moisturizing regime on this hair, I use this. This is called Texture, texture My Way Curl Keeper Moisturizing Lotion. I also use this on my natural hair. So it works really, really good. So I typically do a little bit of this in the hair just to add some moisture to it. I use this on the hair as well. This is BB05 Herbal Essences. So if you are looking for a cheap option to put on your on your weaves, that is definitely great. And what I find helps the hair um, in terms of like keeping it looking like shiny and when I don't want it to be so so big what I do is add a little bit of glycerin now glycerin I know it has been a little controversial like should you add it to your hair or should you not but me personally like it's me and it's like it's, it's okay so I add a little bit and it definitely adds a great deal of shine and it definitely like lots of moisture in my hair after I've moisturized with this. I don't really do the oils on, on this hair because just for a simple part like I don't think it's necessary and those are oils that I can be using on my own natural hair to help stimulate it like the weave doesn't need stimulation from oils if you get what I'm saying. No definition. When I am um, conditioning the hair, what I typically do is break it through with my fingers. I find that when I do it with a demo brush, it leaves the curls like really, really, really pretty, as you can see, and it's just like overall like really satisfying to watch. But I don't like how it dries. 
when you define the curls with a demo brush, I find that the shrinkage is on 10 as opposed to if I do it with my fingers and it makes the hair like way shorter and I just don't like that. I prefer the hair to look like this. I was actually walking home this evening and this guy, he's like, he's looking at me so I said hi and he goes, that hair looks so good on you, that hair got you look so good, don't do nothing to it. Like he literally thought that this was my own hair. Don't do nothing to it, just grease it. You know, Caribbean people, old people like to talk about greasing hair. Just grease it and let it go into loss. Like he literally thought this was my hair. And I think the hair was a little bit poofier than it is right now because I did add some water to it, as you saw just now. But he literally thought it was my own hair. And a lot of people since I've started wearing this wig have been asking me, is that your hair? Like, your hair looks so good, but honey, it's so big. Like, my hair is up front here. I just, sometimes I take this out and try to blend it with the hair, but my natural hair texture is nowhere near to this. And also, like, my hair is probably like, this long compared to the big so it's like doing my little twist at the front I'm telling y'all all my secrets now look 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 okay so yeah so this is basically how I style the hair under this wig my hair is literally braided back into like cornrows straight back and I just have like the front part of my hair out like all hair is out so that I can blend it with this hair but I find seeing that the hair is like so so big so so poofy and I always wear it like flipped over like this nobody can tell nobody can tell like you just think that this is my hair it looks natural bomb 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 the hair definitely does shed like it does shed it's curly hair when you comb it when you detangle it it will shed and also I did the flip over method with this hair so I definitely had to cut some wax so that also contributes to the shedding the fact that I have had to cut my wax but yeah if you have not seen that with video I definitely definitely suggest you check it out because it's really really detailed it's really informative and the flip over method is just a really, really great wig technique if you are natural and if you don't have a frontal or a closure leak. It's bomb and it looks natural, especially if you do it with curly hair. So definitely check out that video. I'll have it linked right here or right here, whichever side it's on, and I'll have it linked in the description box below. Again, this hair is from Perfectly Laid by Jay. She's looking in Barbados. I'm not sure if she ships internationally. I don't think she does. So for any of my international subscribers, I'm sorry. You don't just have to come to Barbados to get you some of this good stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this hair. I didn't tell y'all if I like it or not. I, I love this hair. I really do. I love it. Like that's just me. I'm realizing. I like big hair, I like curly hair, so this hair gets a 9.5 on the shiny scale for the simple fact that I don't like all the hard work that it gives me. So that 0.5 is for the hard work that it gives me. Like if I had somebody to detangle the hair for me, it would have got it would have gotten a 10. But yeah. That is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Share it with a friend. Share it with a friend who likes curly hair. Comment below and let me know what you think about this hair on me. It is her bomb. It is her bomb. So I'll definitely have her Instagram linked down below so y'all can check out her hair if you want to buy it. Again, this is not a sponsored video, but if you want to collab with me in the future, hit me up, girlfriend. Hit me up, okay? So I'll definitely see you guys in my next one. Bye.